is. Udo breaks off. One, two from. Standing at just 5 foot 4 inches, Cejudo is more of a dangerous grenade blowing up whatever ring he's thrown in. With an aggressive vigor, Triple C outrightly deserves every C in his name. Let's take a look at his menacing career. This was the start of it all for Cejudo. Clearly entering the cage with obvious nervous energy, he was immediately dropped by a knee. The knee awoke his extremely competitive nature, and it wasn't long before the fight was over. This beatdown lasted all of five seconds. More ruthless ground and pound domination. This is close. Now Guiney's seen enough, ladies and gentlemen. And there you have it. Henry Cejudo, former Olympic gold medalist, now your Bantamweight World Fighting Federation title holder. Outstanding. The only time Marty touched Cejudo was literally when they touched gloves. Watch the complete domination. Five foot four Henry fought five foot eleven Ryan Hollis with a six and a half inch reach advantage, which he had an extremely hard time getting inside. There's a side kick in the knee. This is a nice jam too from Hollis. Follow up. Follow up. There oh, a high right round from Hollis. Sudo's heart just grew a little. Uh, oh. But ultimately, his intense ground and pound took over and won him the fight. Sudo gets off some punches. This is how the fight will finish. And it looks like Henry Cejudo will remain undefeated. At Legacy FC 27, Elias stood toe to toe with the future champion and was arguably his toughest opponent up to this point in his career. Jumping round kick. Look at that quick he recovered. Cejudo ate massive bombs thrown by Garcia, but somehow was able to recover. Round kick from Cejudo. Garcia tries to back him off of the left hook. Other than those bombs, Garcia was thrown in the air and slammed to the ground over and over and over again. Senses an opening. Cejudo takes him down. Garcia trying to walk up the cage back onto his feet. Cejudo's hand was raised again. Yeah. Unanimous decision win. In his UFC debut, Cejudo won the fight via unanimous decision, utilizing his world-class wrestling to control Kimura for much of the three rounds. Beautiful right hand. Cejudo's all over. Dustin's in big trouble here. While Kimura had some success with his striking, Cejudo's takedowns and top control were too much for him to handle. At UFC 185, Cejudo won the fight via unanimous decision, using his Olympic-level wrestling to control the grappling exchanges and neutralize Carriasso's striking game. There's a nice kick to the body by Carriasso. While Carriasso had some success on the feet, landing a few hard shots, Cejudo's takedowns and ground control were the difference in the fight. Also experimenting with a bunch of different techniques, drops the elbows down on Carriasso. Carriasso's trying to wedge that right knee and shit. Utilizing his world-class wrestling to control Camus for much of the three rounds. He initiate, initiates, part of me, the clinch. You know, look for some dirty boxing. Cejudo's grappling was too much for him to handle, as he was taken down repeatedly and unable to mount any significant offense from the bottom. To let him learn and grow. With the victory, Cejudo remained undefeated. Hand by Camus, there's a nice right hand by Cejudo. At UFC Fight Night 78, Cejudo was finally able to test his world-class wrestling skills and takedown defense against the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Black Belt. The fight was a closely contested battle, with Cejudo's superior takedowns and ground control enough to earn him the victory on the judges' scorecards. The win was a key moment in Cejudo's rise up the flyweight ranks and solidified his status as a top contender in the division.
At UFC 197, the fight was a one-sided affair, with Johnson showcasing his incredible speed, technique, and striking to overwhelm Cejudo early in the fight. Despite Cejudo's wrestling credentials, he was unable to take down Johnson and impose his grappling game, and Johnson eventually finished the fight with knees to the body. The loss was the first of Cejudo's professional MMA career. At the Ultimate Fighter 24 finale, Benavidez won the fight via split decision in a closely contested battle between two top flyweight contenders. The fight was primarily a striking affair, with both fighters landing significant shots throughout the three rounds. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with how quickly Benavidez recovered from getting rocked. While Cejudo had some success, Benavidez's striking and movement proved to be the difference in the eyes of the judges. Oh, very nice right hand from Joseph Despite the loss, Cejudo remained one of the top contenders in the flyweight division. At UFC 215, Cejudo won the fight via knockout in the second round, showcasing his striking skills and finishing ability. The first round was a closely contested grappling battle. He waits for Hayes to try to close the distance, and then he goes to his offense. No surprise, significant strikes right said that. Look at that. Quick down. finish. That was beautiful. But in the second round, Cejudo began to find his range on his feet and landed a beautiful right hand that dropped race to the canvas. Cejudo followed up with ground and pound, forcing the referee to stop the fight. Wow! That was lightning fast, that right hand. Like a look at this right hand. I mean, that is a piston. The victory was a much-needed win for Cejudo, who had suffered two consecutive losses prior to this fight. At UFC 218, Cejudo won the fight via unanimous decision. Despite some strong moments from Pettis on his feet, Cejudo's takedowns and ground and pound were the difference in the fight as usual. Cejudo won the fight via split decision, becoming the UFC flyweight champion and ending Johnson's six-year reign as champion. The fight was a closely contested battle, with Cejudo utilizing his wrestling to control Johnson's movement and preventing him from implementing his striking game. Bigger he is than Demetrius. Wow, seemed to be in position. The overall composition of him as a mixed martial arts striker. Beautiful ten side off trip. That was nice. Now see if he can secure. Cejudo also landed some effective strikes of his own and was able to outscore Johnson on the judges' scorecards. Cejudo came out southpaw. Now back to the orthodox stance. Landed a sharp. The victory was a major upset in the world of MMA. In the main event of UFC Fight Night 143, Cejudo's quick and precise striking caught Dillashaw off guard and quickly ended the fight. Cejudo won the fight via technical knockout in just 32 seconds of the first round. Cejudo's got him! Dillashaw a little bit desperate here. Oh, he's got it! Big right from Cejudo! successfully defending his UFC flyweight championship title. After the victory, Cejudo called for a super fight with the UFC bantamweight champion. In the main event of UFC 238, Cejudo won the fight via technical knockout in the third round, becoming the UFC bantamweight champion. The fight was a back-and-forth battle, with both fighters landing significant strikes and grappling exchanges. Has really done since he went on this run as he fought that karate type, type of stance. And as I was saying, we were leading up to this fight, when we would see him win, uppercut, oh, oh, head kick. In the third round, Cejudo turned up the pressure and eventually dropped Marias with a combination of punches and knees before finishing the fight with ground and pound. From Cejudo! Oh man, I thought the referee was gonna stop it. Oh! He is, that's, that's it. it! Get him a second belt! Wow. Henry Cejudo!
is the UFC Bantamweight Champion! The victory made Cejudo a two-division champion in the UFC and coined the nickname the Triple C. In the co-main event of UFC 249, Cejudo won the fight via technical knockout in the second round, successfully defending his UFC Bantamweight Championship title. The fight was notable for Cejudo's effective leg kicks, which caused Cruz to become increasingly unsteady on his feet as the fight progressed. And he is chopping with those leg kicks. Nasty leg kicks. Oh, look at that. Despite a brief controversy over the stoppage, Cejudo was declared the winner and announced his retirement from MMA shortly thereafter. Trouble here! Oh, he's hurt Gotta bad. fight back! Oh, that so... is it! And still! Oh, Henry my Cejudo goodness. retains in defense number one! I don't know about wow. that stoppage. It looked like he was hitting him. Oh, what but then knee, when though. Dom started trying to get up is when the ref got in there, which yeah. is very odd. Well, it's unfor I think he was already going to stop the fight because of the shots before that, mm -hmm. and then Dom was trying to get back up. But looking at it in in hindsight, looking at it now, right especially here? slow motion, yeah. I agree, I agree like, with the stop. Oh, the undisputed UFC! Was Triple C one of the greatest combat athletes of all time? Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more Fatal Fists Meet Flesh, punch that like button and subscribe to the channel.